dynamic separator setup. So say I've got a list of files here, I want to print a separator before each file with the information in the separator from the file. So to do this I want to print the separator on tray 2 and these files on tray 1 in this example. So first of all I'm going to do a printer setup. Tray 2 is what I want for the separator. I'm going to save the printer settings into a test folder. So, so that's tray 2 set up ready for the uh, separator. Now I want to go into options menu, separator page setup. And clear any previous settings. I want to use a printer settings file, so I want that tray two. Now, the actual file that I want to create is going to be called C test dummy .rtf. This is a dynamic RTF file, and I'm going to use a template which is already got set up in the inst installation folder so I've got my computer C program files traction software law edition set template so that's a separate template there you can view and change it to however you want but in this example it's actually going to take the file names in from the uh, from the files printing afterwards and it's going to populate all this information and print it out that way. Now save and exit. Now I want to set the printer to tray 1 because I want the actual text files on tray 1. So that's all set up and ready to go. Uh, click print. You can see this is the uh, print queue. So this first file should be set to tray two. Tray two. Then the actual test file should be on tray one. Tray one. So the next file, which is another separator, which is being generated, is tray two again, and then it's the next file that's printed after that, and then another separator, and then the next file after that. This will actually be quicker when it's actually printing, because there won't be other files in the queue that has to check. So that's it, that's all the files that's printed in, in the right order. Give it a try.